Gaming Vault presents the top 15 best bosses in the Batman Arkham series. It's a hard knock life for Batman with so many villains on his heels. This is made for some awesome moments in the Batman Arkham series though, so we're not complaining. Let's take a look at the top 15 best bosses in the Batman Arkham series. Spoilers are inbound. Killer Croc, Arkham Asylum. There's a reason this is at the bottom, and not because it's a terrible boss fight. It's mostly because it just touches the border of not being a boss fight. Your mission is to gather spores in Killer Croc's lair, and every once in a while the Croc Man himself will emerge to attack. Batarangs take him down with ease, and you're otherwise advised not to be too loud. The end, which sees Croc falling into the abyss when Batman destroys the floor, is alright. Bane, Arkham Asylum The first of the big brawly boss fights in Arkham Asylum is Bane. All said and done, the premise for this fight isn't too bad. Throw a batarang at Bane to knock him silly, dodge to the side in slow-mo and then commence the beatdown when he hits a wall. This becomes slightly tougher as more minions join to help Bane out, but the basic fight stays the same, simple and effective. Plus, Batman finishes Bane off with the Batmobile afterwards. That's pretty cool. Copperhead, Arkham Origins Live Assassin Copperhead is actually one of the more underrated fights from Batman Arkham Origins. The setup is interesting, if unoriginal, with Batman hallucinating his past failures after being poisoned by Copperhead. From there, it's a fight against multiple hallucinations of her, with the main Copperhead seemingly dashing at Batman from the shadows. Of course, once Batman is cured, she's not much of a fight. Bane TN1, Arkham Origins So, after Batman revives Bane, yes, Batman saves Bane after taking a beating, the latter hits himself up with tons of venom. The fight heads to the sewers, and Batman has 10 minutes to finish it. Fighting Bane involves sneaking up, performing a silent takedown and then steering him into the electrified cell doors. Bane's frightening speed and sheer power make this fight suitably challenging, though it's still pretty straightforward. Jason Todd, Arkham Knight Though it's one of the more underwhelming fights in the game, the battle with Jason Todd is still unique. You essentially have to stealth take down the former Arkham Knight since he's armed with a long-range sniper and can see your attacks coming. After the first takedown, Todd's defenses will gradually ramp to include drones, soldiers and more. It's an interesting challenge, even if it isn't the most adrenaline fueled boss battle. Excavator, Arkham Knight Now this is what a Batmobile fight should be. Again, the theme is very basic, but coupled with excellent production values, a high-speed Batmobile and actual skill needed in racing, battling the Arkham Knight's Excavator can be pretty fun. The main challenge is in leading the excavator to the explosives, and to be fair, it's still pretty basic. At least it feels more high stakes than the actual battle with the knight. Deathstroke, Arkham Origins Say what you will about Batman Arkham Origins, but unlike many other titles in the series, it had plenty of different boss fights. Battling Deathstroke is one such example. Unlike many fights, this feels like a brawl, one where Slade's tactics evolve as the fight goes along. Warner Brothers Montreal nailed that atmosphere of two masters feeling each other out before engaging in all manner of combat. It's fun to play and watch, even if it's not the most logically or mechanically demanding fight. Titan Joker, Arkham Asylum One of the strangest battles for any Batman fan at the time was seeing the Joker juiced up on the Titan formula. The battle was even stranger because you didn't fight the Joker directly. Rather, you pulled him down three times, attempting to break the floor and subsequently electrifying the clown. Some baddies would come in here and there, but nothing spectacular. But you know what? Batman spraying explosive gel on his fist and knocking the Joker out with an exploding punch will never not be awesome. Firefly, Arkham Origins Another unique fight in Batman Arkham Origins, Firefly could be quite the irritating customer to chase. In the actual boss battle, Batman has to stun Firefly with glue grenades and batarangs before eventually pulling him down for a kick in the face. Of course, when you add Firefly's different attacks like grenades and strafing guns, along with a good amount of dodging, 
the fight becomes a tad more complex. This is yet another simple concept, but it's spiced up with plenty of variety throughout. Solomon Grundy, Arkham City As the Penguin's prisoner, Solomon Grundy is sort of fighting against his will. Then again, fighting is just something he does. Avoiding Grundy's whirling ball and chains is tantamount, but so is finding a way to shut off the electricity that's keeping him alive. Eventually, Grundy is set on fire, but continues attacking at a faster rate. The final stage of the battle involves dodging electrical shockwaves and maggots to completely destroy the devices powering the machine. Not bad for a multi-stage fight, especially since we can beat up the penguin in the end. Clayface, Arkham City Giant axes, wrecking balls, rapid punches, spiked balls, Clayface brings it all to the final battle. Freeze grenades are Batman's most effective tools, along with slicing the big boy up again and again with Talia's sword. The second stage of the fight gives you the sword to fight against Clayface's miniature copies. Finally, after freezing him yet again, Batman jumps in and slices him from the inside out. Poison Ivy, Arkham Asylum One of the few real boss fights in Arkham Asylum, Poison Ivy requires you to throw batarangs whenever she's exposed inside of a giant monster plant. From there, explosive gel has to be used to crack the protective casing. Sounds simple, but you have to deal with goons, projectiles, the plant grabbing you, and tons of attacking vines. Though short, the fight is still a breath of fresh air when it comes to mechanics. Ra's al Ghul, Arkham City the quest to reach Ra's al Ghul is pretty cool with all sorts of supernatural platforming. The real fight with Raz sees him rejuvenated by the Lazarus Pit and ready to fight hand to hand. Oh, and by the way, it takes place on a spectral battlefield with sand clones and an enormous Raz firing blades at you. Scarecrow, Arkham Asylum. Call it a boss fight or call it a series of platforming sections, we don't care. The point is that these scarecrow sections were unlike anything seen in the game before. A hallucinatory world where a giant scarecrow is searching for you. Incidents that take Bruce Wayne back to his tragic past, eventually overcoming one's fear and taking Crane down. Unlike the fight with Jason Todd, this was a unique boss battle that had great challenge and payoff when all was said and done. Mr. Freeze, Arkham City why is this unarguably the best boss battle in all of the Arkham series? Because Mr. Freeze can't be fought up close, you need to use different methods. Hit a silent takedown, perform a beatdown, and you then discover that silent takedowns no longer work. From there, you have to use another method to stun him. This creates a tense but still action-packed encounter as you attempt to outsmart a powerful genius. In a way, it encapsulates everything that makes Batman so badass. And that wraps it up. If you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing to our channel. We upload new videos daily, so make sure you don't miss them by subscribing. We appreciate your support, and we thank you for checking us out.